and they actually have the new company Brinkley here. This one apparently is sold already. And we're talking about a storage. That's talking about storage. This is definitely a storage. Oh yeah. Truly. This is a 2024 model. Z3100. But 84995. Mo steps, but Snapshot sitting again. <laughs> the Brinkley Z3100 is considered a mid-size fifth wheel. Its length is 34 feet 11 inches. The GVWR is 14,995 pounds. The hitch weight is 2,142 pounds. The overall height is 12 feet 9 inches. Now, if you want a second air conditioner, that'll increase the height to 13 feet 2 inches. It has three slide outs and it can sleep four people. This is, this is a couple already. I do like the sound of the cabinets closing. It doesn't so, sound like they're using actually, cheap material. Oh, okay. That's what this is. This is a couple of it. Nice pantry. Automatic lights when you open it up. See, I'm, I'm into granddaddy mode, so that's why this one don't do nothing for me. <laughs> this is strictly couple. And this one with the a lot of people are trying to decide if they like this yeah, with the bench and the chair. For old folks like you. <laughs> Funny. That's what this is. The cup RV. Uh-huh. Ah, uh, yes. Now, I do like the shower with the sh different shower head. Nice. They have the hooks in here already. And the bedroom. Nice. Again. Okay, on the top. I guess you can put your items if you needed anything up there on the top. And then they also have where you can uh, charge your phone or tablet above. Kind of awkward space, but... Okay. Huh. So this is for the washer dryer because I just saw up top it had the vent for the dryer. Okay, so this is the new Brinkley. Yeah, I mean, that yes. has a push button, too, for the blinds to come down. You know what I mean? Because you can't reach those upper blinds. Right. Mm. Um, even your TV, that comes up and down. So if it's a gorgeous day and you don't want to watch TV, you want to see outside. Move mm -hmm. out the way. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's a new floor plan for them this year. Ah. Fresh off, fresh off the press. So a lot of people be buying those? We sell a lot of them, yeah. We haven't sold this one yet. This one just came from the factory last week. Wasn't it, Jackson, last week? This thing just came in. Mm. It, it won't last like, through the show, though. It looks yeah. like a house. Put that mm. thing well, with those two lofts for kids, you can fit, yeah. you know, and even a young couple, you know, if you have bigger kids, bring kids, gives them their own space, too. Mm -hmm. yeah, nice piece of property. You sit that down. That'd be nice. Yep. Well, it's a lot of cheaper than the front. Uh, That's nice. A lot cheaper than building a house. 
Oh yeah. Yep. I'm gonna go and check it out. Yeah, I ain't moving. I know you're not gonna move. I know. I know I'm ready too. Said so it's sneakers tomorrow. Oh yes, that's a definite. The Grand Villa 42 view is considered a more stationary unit. They say it's the perfect seasonal camper, a destination trailer. So basically, if you have a piece of land or uh, like they said, a seasonal camper, you put it on the site and it basically just stays there. Now, this unit is 45 feet in length. Its GVWR is 15,635 pounds. The hitch weight is 1,635 pounds. It has two slide outs and it says that it can sleep six to eight people. Now looking at those two lofts, I'm telling you, there's a lot of room up there. So even if you have smaller children or a smaller person or people rather, I'm pretty sure you can get more than eight people in this unit. We have shades for all the windows. This is the island. We have a few stoves, two chairs, one, two, three, four, five, five chairs, the sink, cabinet. These cabinets also sound pretty oh, good. Refrigerator. And it's cold. Definitely. Microwave. And your cabinets. Let's see. Pretty deep. Pretty deep. And pantry with the automatic lights. And couch with the TV riser and also another fireplace and sound system. The bathroom is down here. Very big bathroom. Closet and for your washer dryer. This is the look from across. Beautiful. We had a poll. You've answered and we're listening. 83% of you would like to see our content on a Sundays. So we will be changing our day to bring our content to you on Sundays. So thanks again for watching and look for us on Sundays.